shot. Got it! That is one beautiful ball. Big shout, he's been given. Oh, he's gone for all money. Oh, he's got it, dropped him. Oh, oh, there she goes. Hello and welcome to highlights of this first final, the Benson Hedges Limited Overs competition between Australia and Sri Lanka. Well, these two teams met last Tuesday and provided some great entertainment in what was probably one of the finest one-day games you'll ever want to see. We're at the same venue, we've got the same pitch, it's a beauty according to Tony Gregg and his pitch report, and we've got exactly the same two teams out there doing battle again. The Australian team, it looks like this. Mark Taylor, the captain, interesting to see Glenn McGrath there hold his place. There was some point that uh, he may lose that to Shane Lee, not to be, he's in the side. Steve Waugh made a wonderful century against the Sri Lankans last Tuesday. He could hold the key for the Australians again here today. The Sri Lankan side, up there at the top of the order, Kalu with Tarana. He really has thrilled the Melbourne crowds and crowds all over Australia with his batting of recent times. And Arjuna Ranatunga, the captain, he's back in the team. Sri Lanka are playing some very good cricket at the moment. We pick up play in the very first over. It's no wicket for no runs. Shaminda Vas is the bowler. He's bowling to the Australian captain, Mark Taylor. And in the commentary position, it's Bill Laurie and with him, Tony Gregg. Yes, and for those of you who haven't watched a uh, World Series Cup, this is the best of three. In the finals, it's the best of three. Well, oh, he's going, it won't be none. What a start. Jim Indivas gets the Australian captain. They're on fire, the Sri Lankans. The prime wicket of the informed captain. And once again, Jim Indivas striking for Sri Lanka. Well, the Sri Lankans have come in and their supporters are going wild. The coveted wicket of the Australian captain and that ball did bounce. Pitch just outside off stump and watch it bounce. Big deflection you'll see here. He pushed his head back as it went through and have a look at that. Up goes the hand of Chaminda Vass and the Sri Lankans have struck early. The Aussie captain out for a duck. This is not what they wanted. One for none. Ricky Ponting comes out to tremendous ovation, but there's a real buzz around the Melbourne cricket ground. Mark Taylor out in the first over for a duck. Beautiful delivery. It's going to be pushed back on who's been very impressive from the members' end. Quite lively. Ponting off the mark with at least two. Mark Law will probably come back to the third. That's good running. It's one for four. Mark Wall crips in the air, got both hands to it and put it down. Jay Saria, very good cricketer, was there at backward square leg for the one off the toes. Mark Wall clipped it nicely and put it down. This is a bad miss. It was flicked in the air. It was up in the air for a long time. And uh, he had to go to his right a bit. He was in air, in the air, and he palmed it around the post, as it were. Plenty of attention at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. A very good start by Sri Lanka after they won the toss, elected to bowl. Got him! He's got him inside the edge over the stumps there. Two for seven, two for nine. Well, 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 Mark Ward is playing away from his body. Shemin Devas, could he be a match winner? Well, you didn't have to do anything to bring those uh, folk down there alive, but Chavinda Vass is having a marvellous time of it. He bowled well in the last match. He's bang on target this time around. Again, just a little bit of bounce outside off stump, off the inside edge, and he drags it back onto his stumps. Look at the reaction there of Mark War. Well, there's one thing about this guy. He's spot on target all the time. He doesn't give the batsman anything. And have a look at that reaction. So, he's been dropped, and now he's out. Out for four, and it's two for nine. Steve War. Right about a 73, comes at the score at two for nine. Smindavas is bowled very well all season. Nice shot, that could be four, could be the first four of the match. That's a magnificent shot. Beautifully played off the back foot. Placement perfect. And once again, right up on his toes as he played the shot. Have a look at this. 
Ricky Ponting up on his toes there, and uh, that really is beautifully played. Great shot. That's through the covers. That's going to race out to the boundary. It's a long boundary out there. The batsman, it's not going to go to the fence. Yes, it will. Beautiful time by Stephen Moore. A square drive. Vindavas doing the right thing and pitching it up, but Stephen War equal to the task on this occasion. Going to be a change from the great Southern stand end. It's going to be Vic Rama Singer to replace Jamindavas, who's bowled very well. Five overs. And has picked up two wickets for just 12 runs. Well, that's a beautiful shot. Off the back foot. He is poetry in motion playing that sort of shot. The balance, the footwork. The timing and the power, it's just beautiful to watch. Well, that's two boundaries we've seen from Ricky Ponting, both off the back foot. One was a cover drive off the back foot, and that one a square cut. He's got plenty of shots. Single to Ricky Ponting, to a Karatna is the man in the gully. That's straight up in the air, it's going to be caught. Guru Singh is underneath it, he's got him. Stephen Waugh gone, Vic Ramasinghe tells him where to go. Australia lose their third wicket, it's now three for 39. That's a terrific blow for uh, Sri Lanka. Vikrama Singer now getting in amongst the wickets. Just not quite short enough for that shot. It went very high. The keeper didn't have time to get there. So it was left to Guru Singha. And he was very pleased to hang on to that one. It was a real skyer. War is on his way. It's three for 39. Stuart Law is the new batsman for Australia. By a score of 110. A strange sort of series to date. He's played well on a couple of occasions and then once or twice didn't have a lot of opportunity. That's beautifully bowled. He's gone. First ball. Stuart Law can't believe it. First ball he faced and Stuart Law is out and Australia now in real trouble. Well, this is the one you dread as a batsman coming to the crease. A really good one first up. That is a good delivery, good good length, good line. The batsman had to play. Looks like a faint edge through to uh, Kalu with Arana. And uh, he's taken the catch. And the Sri Lankans are delighted. Stuart Law, a first ball duck. And Australia are now four for 39. Michael Bevan is the new batsman for Australia. Come out and take up the challenge against the Sri Lankans. It's in the air and over the top. That's well played. Good shot down to the fence for four. That'll relieve the pressure a little bit. It was slightly overpitched, and uh, he just went through with that shot. Hit it absolutely beautifully. He's got so much confidence, Ricky Ponting. This is the risk of run as uh, captain of the opposition team. A batsman doing that to you when you've got the field right up. That's beautiful batting by Ricky Ponting. The crowd here, their face painted, giving support to their country. A big moment for both of these young men, Bevan and Ricky Ponting. As it is for the Sri Lankans. It's going to be a cliffhanger again. You can just feel it. Yes, it's got it past him. Well, that's gone away to the fence for four. It was only just wide of the fieldsman down there. But uh, that was what he was targeting. Yes, it's all happening. Michael Bevan taking up the challenge to the Sri Lankans now. They've kept the field up. They're encouraging the Australians to go over the top. And Bevan takes up the challenge, finds the gap between a man at mid-on and mid-wicket. Picks up four. So 27 overs have been bowled now, 4 for 83. 
And uh, we're going to see Dada Messina continue. He's uh, around the wicket. He's going to be bowling to Michael Bevan. In the commentary box, it's going to be Ian Chappell and Colin Croft. And Michael Bevan looking for the open spaces in the outfield. And successful on that occasion. Something to shout about now for the Australian supporters. Michael Bevan breaking the shackles a little bit. There's still six men in the circle, and he's seeing to hit this over mid-wicket. Succeeds. Oh, it trickles into the boundary. It was four all the time. Both he and Michael Bevan playing some strokes that are not normally in the book. 50 partnership in 87 balls. That's an excellent shot. Straight and away from long off. That's 50 for Ricky Ponting. Very well played by Ricky Ponting. Acknowledges the, the applause but gets on with business. He knows that there's going to be a lot more to happen before this game is finished just a 29th over and it's going to be necessary for him to do well that's Ricky Ponting's wagon wheel those four blue marks would suggest fours uh, Bevan and Ponting just starting to get on top Sri Lanka would love another wicket Again, daredevil type running by both Ponting and Bevan. Ricky Ponting was immediately into that single as Michael Bevan played the shot. And even though the ball went straight to the fieldsman, nothing he could do about saving that single. Very well run. Runs in 175 balls, present run rate 3.42. Gala! He's hit them. And umpire Randall is going to ask the question, and I think that uh, the Sri Lankans feel they've got him. I wouldn't be too certain about it. Ponting, uh, not quite as quick as Bevan, but he's very quick. While he's moving here with the shot, he's immediately into the run, and throw comes in just about now, hits the stump now. Run out by about half the length of a bat. Mahanama, the fieldsman, and Ricky Ponting has just got the bad news and a jump for joy there amongst the Sri Lankans. The flags go up, and that's the one they wanted. Mahanama getting pats all round. And Ricky Ponting leaves the ground after making a good half century. And Australia, four for 100, five for 100 even. Ian Healy arrives in the uh, centre of the MCG. The sound of the Little River Band singing, hang on, help is on its way. Aravinda De Silva, who uh, has been the acting captain for Sri Lanka for quite a bit of this World Series comp competition, it would appear that uh, he's just leaving the field. And then the fight back from the Australians. First of all, Ponting, who's been dismissed, and now the left hand of Michael Bevan. One of the few bad balls that Dara Messina has delivered and it got exactly what it deserved. So quick on his feet, Michael Bevan, whether it's coming forward or going back. Chip down to long on. Bevan's coming back, misfield. We talk about the good fielding, one-handed. Bevan applied the pressure. Well, there's no better example for uh, any youngsters watching how to come in, pick up the ball. You must keep your eye on the ball. In the air and safely chipping down to wrong on. And we're seeing the fieldsman falls over this time, but doesn't drop the ball. It's a good overs for Australia, good intelligent batting in the middle order. The buzz around this massive stadium. 
heading towards 70,000 people here today. Thump that over cover. It's going all the way. That's for Michael Bevan playing a superb innings. Brings up his 50. What a series this young man from New South Wales has had. Got down to the test side, come back into the one day internationals and played superbly. And this big crowd know it. 40 overs gone, tend to be bold. Tremendous support for both teams here today from the crowd. They're very vocal. They appreciate the wonderful performance Sri Lanka has done to get to the final. Square. He missed it. That's the fast young fast ball who bowled so well. He was sluggish inside the circle and over so ago and he lets go two runs. Just go back to uh, what Ian Chappell was saying earlier about how much faster this ground is. He was running alongside it there and he couldn't make much ground on it for a time. Change at the members end, push back Amara coming back into the attack. He'll be fired up after missing that boundary. A bit more incentive to bowl well. Bowled very well on his first spell. It's in the air and he could be out. Mon Hardiman's getting behind, he should catch this. He does! What a catch that could win a final! That was a gem of a catch, running with the ball. Mahana takes a gem. That's the end of Bevan. He went over the top, Mahana running back, and that's a beauty. I don't know what injury he's done to himself, but it doesn't matter very much. They'll be out of their seats in Sri Lanka, exactly the same way as 70,000 people were here. As he went back, he judged it perfectly. And he's completely winded. I should think very, very happy. That's the wicket that they needed. Bevan played superbly. What a fine young cricketer. 59 of 101 under enormous pressure. Chris Pekamara gets his second wicket at 6 for 155. Ian Healy on strike. It's the mid-off. Scampers through for single. Paul Rifle's a new batsman. And Mahanama doing a great job. It's 6 for 156 as Ian Chappell and Tony Gregg take up the commentary. Oh, it's got him, yes, he's caught behind, huge appeal, umpire Randall shaking his head again. Well, this will make an interesting replay. And I believe it, you're right, chaps, he's still got a smile on his face. Well, can we pick up some deflection? There's plenty of deflection. I'm not sure what, uh, what the umpire thinks that hit. the air over the top and uh, it's running away quickly will it get to the fence yes it does so having been caught behind he's uh, now hit a four that's really rubbing salt into the wound Healy beginning to get just a little frustrated he's got to really be here at the end you see uh, if he does get going he's a pretty aggressive player he's got one of the better strike rates in this Australian lineup Coming back. So he's one of those guys who doesn't look like he's running all that quickly, Paul Rifle, but uh, he covers the territory in surprisingly uh, short time. Quite an amazing player, Ian Healy. You look at those stats, uh, 41 he's moved to now. And just 51 balls faced. Terrific strike rate, and yet he doesn't really look like he's been doing all that much tonight. Oh, he's hit that one straight. This may bisect the fieldsman down the far end. Will they collide? Oh, it's four. No, it's not. He's got his foot in. Well, there was very nearly a collision down there, and uh, that was quite well done. The uh, screen in from the boundary. Kalpagay, the substitute fielder, has put the boot right on it. So 49 have been bowled now, just one to go, and uh, the Aussies really need to get that score past 200. A few sixes and a couple of fours, yeah, be nice. Life on strike. Oh, he's bowled in. That's it. Another full toss. I think that probably hit the base of the off stump. So, Chimim Devas bending his back a bit that time and uh, letting it go. Mind you, Rifle, in these uh, circumstances, had to have a go. He did and missed it. 
Yes, it's been a disciplined effort from uh, Sri Lanka. Chaminda Vas getting that one right on line, even with a little bit of swing. He still uh, clips off stump. So Chaminda Vas and uh, Jay Saria doing a good job here at the end. It's seven for 192. So Shane Warne chaired out to the centre. He's got a strike rate of almost 80, which is pretty good, although the average is not that good. He's uh, so often required to come in in these circumstances to smash it around. Healy gets that one away beautifully. That's going down towards the fence. I think it'll probably get cut off. Will it get there? They'll come back for the third. That's exactly what they needed. They needed a full toss on the roundabout leg stump, and he got it away quite nicely. There's no one protecting the field dead square. Guru Singh had to run a long way around. And in chasing that one, Guru Singh how lost the glasses. Coming off the top of the hat. Had to avoid them as well. Yes, they've got to run for absolutely everything. So Warren has decided sensibly, I think, to take that single and uh, to give it back to Healy. And Healy 47 from 54 balls. A good knock from him. He's gone for that one again. And will he get three again? If he does, it'll be his 50. Back he comes for the second. Will they go for the third? Ward struggling a bit. Good as singers down. In comes the throw. It's a powder puff throw. And they've got three for three. That's very well played, Ian Healy. A fantastic effort. With his back to the wall, he's come up trumps. They go for the second. Will they? Touchdown. No, they're staying there. And so, just a single there. So they've got past the 200. The Australians, seven down for 201. A good effort after a disastrous stop. Well, as we expected, it was always going to be a big arm wrestle. Finals are always like that. The Australians did pretty well to score seven for 201. They were in trouble early on with Captain Mark Taylor out off the bowling of Chaminda Vass with no score. Mark Wall went cheaply as well to scoring four. But then Ricky Ponting, as he's done so often this summer, came in and rescued the Australians, 51 from 74 balls. Stephen Waugh, the century maker from last Tuesday, he was out for 13. Michael Bevan did the job once again, 59 from 101 balls, a wonderful innings from him. Ian Healy remained not out on 50, off just 55 balls faced. And Shane Warne not out at three at the end. Seven for 201, 202 to win for the Sri Lankans. That's their bowling figures. Chaminda Vass bowled beautifully for the Sri Lankans, three for 42 off his 10 overs. Push Pakamara did a good job as well, picking up two wickets for 34 off his 10. Vikrama Singer chipped in with a wicket. Eight overs, one for 30. And Dara Messina to Silva and Jaya Saria doing a good job with the ball. 202 will win the game for the Sri Lankans. It's going to be an absolute beauty here tonight. Lots of uh, overseas supporters here. And uh, indeed local Sri Lankans have come to the ground as well. There they are. They have uh, come to support their players. We're about to embark on their innings. Oh, he's hit that in the air. It's going over the top of the man down there. He's at six. It's four. Well, man or no man, he's going for it. Well, he really got underneath that one. It was, well, it was just on leg stump, I'd say, just going down there. Got underneath it and hit it over the man's head. And what's the man doing in there? Why isn't the man back on the fence? where he would have taken that at chest height. So Colo with her honour is on his way. That's in the air, that's over mid on head. And it's a no ball. And that's going for four as well. Well, he's on his way. This little fellow is dynamite. Certainly is, and uh, the Australians as yet haven't uh, learned anything from the last time they met because that was too short. It allows him to hit on the up, just hit straight through the line of the ball. It's not going to bowl him if he misses it. He's not going to be LBW, it'll be a bit too high. Oh, and he's missed it, and that'll go for four as well. 
Well, that's a good start again for Sri Lanka. Not a very good start for Rifle. 12 runs off the over. A shake of the head from the captain. No wicket for 14. It's in the air, but it's over the top of mid on. That's going down towards the fence as well. This outfield is very fast. Don't think it'll quite make it. They'll probably run three. And back comes the throw. Right, well, that is a good shot. Now, McGrath to Kalu with Arana. That's better. That is better. That's exactly where he needed to bowl it. He should have been bowling it the last time they met. And Kalabitarana has gone. Well, Kalu with has got a little smile on his face. It may have something to do with uh, the fact that Stephen Waugh was given in in similar circumstances, or did he perhaps get a little bad on it? He doesn't look very happy. Perhaps, uh, perhaps it's just disappointment. Let's have a look. It's straight. Well, he certainly was going in, and... Uh, well, I would have thought he may have got the benefit of the doubt there. However, he was given out. LBW, so that was the end of Kalu with Orana. Out to LBW. For 13, and Sri Lanka, one for 17. Asanka Gurusinga is the new batsman. He's uh, a pretty solid player. Averages uh, just under 30 and a strike rate of just over 60. and he's hit it within 10 metres of the boundary square at point. So you can guarantee that Jay Sharia is after them. It's 1 for 25. So after four overs, that's the difference. 1 for 25, Sri Lanka. And uh, have a look at this shot from Jay Sharia. Fantastic shot. He plays this a lot, actually, over the top of cover. Opens the face of the bat. And that one he really got in the middle of the bat. Lick. Oh! Fingertips four. Well, it was a great effort by Taylor at slip. He was in the air, full length to his left, and I reckon he got a fingertip on it. It was a good effort to get across there. But, uh, they're the ones that will either save or win the matches. Taylor is a great slip. He's just got his fingertips to it. It's in the air and that's gone down the ground as well. It's going to go for four. It's very fast this outfield. Guru Singer likes playing the full shot. The ball was on to him a little quicker than he expected, but he still got it away through the mid-on area. Out. Gone. Try to keep it down instead of hitting it. And Warren in the gully. Back to Steve Ward. Takes the catch. It was there to hit. And he held back. Pushed it straight to gully. A vital breakthrough. It's unlike his, uh, his normal method there outside off stump where he really has a go. On that occasion, he just paddled it. And didn't get it down quickly enough. And that's well taken by Steve War. So Glenn McGrath striking back after a bad night the other night. He's got two early wickets. And Sri Lanka are now two for 46. Harabin to Silver with a strike rate of 80.6, an average of 31. Ray McDermott's coming into attack from the members' end. Faces McGrath, who's done a very good job. McGrath picked up two early wickets. And what a shot! That's a really good shot. Just breaking the shackles a little bit down the bend of the silver. Short. The Lankans enjoyed that. Eyes have it, as they say. Look at his eyes. He's looking at the ball all the way. He knew it was four from the time he hit it. And again, he's done it. Must be that uh, the bend of the silver decided he's going to take to Craig McDermott here. That was a lovely repeat of the first shot. Very vital partnership for Sri Lanka for a singer and the silver. Oh, that's a beautiful shot through mid wicket this time. It's racing out to the boundary. Ball rifle's going to cut it off just inside. 
beautifully timed once again by De Silva. McDermott looking to bowl the Yorker. Only succeeding in handing him a full toss. That's a beautiful shot. That's through the covers and that'll go all the way to the boundary. Well, that certainly came off a lot faster than 133 kilometres an hour. That rocketed to the fence. Beautiful Melbourne evening. Ideal for cricket. Temperature around about 20, 21 degrees. Shane Warne to continue from the great southern stand end bowling to Aravinda de Silva. He's pulled that high over mid-wicket. That'll go all the way to the boundary. Four runs to Aravinda de Silva. But very seldom will Shane Warren find himself being treated this way. This was very, very short. Once again, going onto that back foot. That's the 100 coming up in the 22nd over. The form in the last 12 months has been very good in one-day cricket, and they've got this nice build-up going. Uh, you obviously saw quite a bit of the build-up in uh, Sharjah, Tony. So finally, Warren has got the edge and got rid of the very dangerous Aravinda de Silva. It's certainly all happening now. Warren needed the wicket for Australia and he's got it. The captain was in there at slip. He closed the face of the bat a little bit. This ball spun away. Let's see how much he closed the face. Here it goes. Certainly tried to whip it to mid-wicket and that's a good catch. It went quite sharply to Taylor's right. He made the catch, and that's the breakthrough. Aravinda out for 34. Useful knock. 47 balls. Three for 107. Hashan Tulakaratna comes in uh, with three ducks in his last four digs. So he's got something to prove. He played uh, Shane Warne very well in the Perth Test match. Got 100. But Warren is doing the damage. That's a huge wicket for Australia. Tilla Karatna can be dangerous. You've got to get him out quickly. And it'll be interesting to see whether that was a top or bottom edge. Let's see what happens here. Hard to pick that one up. It may have been a bottom edge, but it was nicely taken by Healy in any event. And uh, they did enjoy that one. I think they realise that he is a danger man. Another mystery ball. So a disappointed Hashan Tilakaratna out for one. He's having a bad run. Four for 110. Roshan Mahanama, who's been in good form lately since he dropped down to the middle order. He's posted uh, three half centuries. The uh, Sri Lankans really moved along there in uh, eight of the overs. That's why their rate is uh, as good as it is at the moment. They're just on uh, four and over. Out. That's the wicket they needed. Maybe it was a slower ball. He just chipped it straight to mid-wicket. McDermott strikes. And Australia all of a sudden on top in the first final. Well, I'll be interested to see if this is uh, that split-finger slow ball he's been learning from the baseballers. If it is, it's uh, one of the best pieces of teaching you'll ever come across. That may just be that uh, Guru Singh has miscued it, angled the bat, and been trying to play it on the offside. Just did look to be a slightly slower delivery, though. The one that's broken through here, it's five for 120. Been around the tongue of the Sri Lankan captain with a very good strike rate of 79, a good average of 35. Warned to bowl his eighth, It'll probably be his final over in this spell one, we're thinking, unless he gets a wicket. It's good running, the throw was high. I think Mahan Amas pulled a muscle. Oh dear, not at this stage, surely. a chance of a run out too the throw was high Except his left hamstring he pulls up short 
That's where it uh, got him. Just as he was sliding his bat to go past the crease. Well, it looked as though uh, he would definitely need a runner. Couldn't imagine uh, anything being that painful and then uh, getting up and running again. He's in a lot of trouble. Well, as I mentioned, any of you athletes who've uh, done a hamstring will know what pain he's going to be in. As soon as you start to stretch it, it is uh, agonizing. So he's going. No, I, I can't see the point of him going, unless they're going to strap him up. He, he either stays and uh, has a dash at it, or uh, well, there's no other alternative. I reckon he's got to stay out there. There's no way he'll be able to come back later on once that uh, injury cools down. It's five for 124 here, and uh, Mahanama is going off the field. Naramasina, the new batsman, joining his captain. He played very well on Tuesday night. It's a good shot. That could be four runs. Well, that's a very good start. Naramasina showing some courage here. It's five for one, two, eight. Naramasina off the mark with a very good sweep shot. We really cracked that. It was in the air, just wide a square leg. Oops, and a bit of a bump there. Got him! So I thought that that ball has got through him. Nice and full. 200 wickets for McDermott, and what a time to do it. Not only that, but it was that beautiful slower ball he's been working on. No doubt about that one. And it turned out to be a slow Yorker. Brilliantly bowled. That's as good a delivery as you'll see at a crucial moment in a match, having the courage to bowl the slower one. There it is, dropping and dropping and beat him in fight. Takes the stumps. Batsman in form as well. McDermott's happy and rightly so. Superb bowling under pressure. He's gone for four at six for 129. Navas makes his way to the crease. Six for 129 as Ian Chappell and Tony Gregg take up the commentary. Oh, he's got him. Is he out? Yes, he's caught behind. Is he going to give him? No, he's not. The Aussies are pleading. Yes, he's given him. I think he may well have turned and had a look at the square leg umpire to get confirmation that the ball had carried. McDermott has struck again. This time it's Chamindavas. He was diving forward, Healy. Yes, it's a very good effort from Ian Healy because he's had to dive almost full length forward. That's an excellent catch. Ball was just dying on him. And uh, Chamindavas, quite rightly, waited. The gentleman in the back really enjoying that uh, catch. The gentleman with the walking stick. It's 7 for 131. Promodia Vikramasinghe. He's out there now. He's uh, not got a bad strike rate, but he only averages six. Five wickets have fallen for 24 runs, plus Mahanama. Oh, got him! Yes, what a catch! A magnificent catch! Fumbled in his hands, fell to the ground and latched onto it. So the captain has made a magnificent catch at sort extra cover. And I think they really have got the Sri Lankans now. Mark Taylor was at short cover, and that one was hit pretty hard. Managed to knock it up in the air, but keeping his eye on the ball, got it at the second attempt. That's a good effort because it uh, wasn't coming straight down, it had sort of gone over his shoulder. Good catch by Mark Taylor. Vikrama <laughs> Singer has gone for a duck. And Sri Lanka slumping so Roshan Mahanama coming out with his bad leg and all his uh, runner there is Jaya Saria and he really does look in all sorts of trouble I find now the Sri Lankans are nose diving back towards that uh, yellow line courtesy of four red dots 61 from just 59 balls remaining now two wickets in hand A difficult situation not impossible 
uh, the Australians are starting to really hit their straps in the bowling department. They've bowled a very good line of length. Craig McDermott has been terrific tonight for Australia. That's a good shot. That's four. Beautifully played. It's Mahanama getting it away beautifully off his toes. Races for four. That's what they need. Well, the one place you can't bowl to Mahanama is on his pads when he's got two good legs. And he's just going to show that he's just as good on one. 72,614 fans have seen a good, tough final. Eight off the over. It's eight for one four nine. Oh, they're running everywhere. It's interesting there. <laughs> Gentleman and Tonga coming down. The man at square leg, if you look, he's very wide at square leg. There's extra lines out tonight. The runner going all over the place. It's the runner coming back this end and Juna getting back the other end. Oh! In. That's it. The end of a courageous knock is a lot of pain. Bowl trying to pull away on the onside. Well done to Mark War, but spanning your screen, Mahanama. You have to feel a little sympathy for him as he goes off the ground. He tried to do everything for his side. He just couldn't put any weight getting his body into the right position. Look at the agony on the man as he's clean bowled. He's in a lot of pain. Ecstasy for Ian Healy and to Mark War. Sri Lanka now lose their ninth wicket, Mahanama. Bowled by Mark Walker for 16. It's 9 for 152. Strike rate of 93.1. Average of 13. Pushback Mara comes in at number 11. That could be four. That's what he needed. He's been trying that shot this time. He gets it off the mid of the bat. 9 for 160. 43rd over. Gets past Healy, or maybe it was an edge. It's going pretty quickly. And we get three, we wait for the call. Three runs. Well, Arjuna Ranatunga did it last over with an edge. On this occasion, Pushpakamara finds the outside edge. Very difficult for the wicketkeeper Ian Healy here. Just see the big deflection there. That would have gone to the left hand of a first slip had he been in place. Very, very difficult to get the fielder in that position. Down the long on. Dropped it or did a carry. It's hard to say. Charged the ball. McDermott, he's a good outfielder. He may have got his hands to it. We'll have a good look at that. I don't think this one would carry to Craig McDermott. You see him come in, he does the right thing coming right in, and oh, he gets his hand to it. 16 balls remaining, 22 runs required. He wants a boundary. You get a couple here, he chips it nicely over mid wicket. Just two, that's what they need. They've got a hand to the ranking captain. He's as cool as a cucumber, he's experienced, no sign of paddock whatsoever. He's gone for it. Out the square leg, just the single. Four off the over, nine for 183. 19 off 12. That's McGrath, so the ball will be coming onto the bat for Juna Runatunga to play a shot or two. They have to score off every ball. They're going to make a dash here. It's got him, that's it. A victory for Australia, a very good one. Defending. 201 runs, Australians have bowled out Sri Lanka for 183 in the first final, but it was a tough assignment, it was a tough match, and the best side won on the day. Very good effort by the Australians, they're all congratulating one another, they're waving to the Melbourne crowd, they've supported them well, as have the Sri Lankans supported their team, but it was a very, very good effort in defending what wasn't a big total here at the MCG, on a wicket that was a little slow, hard to score runs on, and the Sri Lankans tried right to the death. Ranatunga, their captain, the last man out. The 
48.1 overs. They're bowled out for 183. Vera Singer, the best batsman on 47. And the Australian bowling was very good. After a rough start, they regrouped well. McGrath, 3 for 28. Rifle, 1 for 44. Wall, 1 for 23. McDermott, a fine spell. 3 for 41. Warren, 2 for 29. And Law, none for 13 or 3. So it's Sunday now. Back to Saturday at the set. Sydney Cricket Ground. It's sold out. Coverage commences at 2.20 local time. Live all day in Sydney. Be there. It's time to say goodbye from the Melbourne Cricket Ground.